Can someone give me a reminder of how old I was back in that year? Two, one, two. Mike check. Um, no why one. exactly? I feel I have a memory coming if I was told of my age. Well, I'm not about to look it up. You do that yourself, Biden. Ah, uh, darn alrighty. Newman Joseph Miller on June 24th, 19. Wait, this just clicked with me. What are we even doing? Wait, is that what I think it is? We're back here again. Why? What are we even doing? This is apparently the sequel to the original complex found footage. Only difference is that here we get a bit more background into the back rooms. There are more rooms to explore. And supposedly there's an entity that chases you, supposedly. It, wait, I'm sorry. Now there's a monster that chases us. What is it even going to look like? Honestly, neither do we know. Do they have any It could literally be anything. This is our first time yeah, hearing about the know. complex getting a sequel. So the experience is going to be mostly blind. They haven't gone through yet, so I think you're the first one. Why'd you turn behind you like that? I thought there was going to be something behind us, you know. It's normal to feel this afraid, right? Yeah, that is true. It is the back rooms after all. Joe, what are you doing? Why were you on the floor like that? I was waiting for when I could take control of my character, so I was just pressing buttons until then. Can we also talk about how my guy just snapped into the direction he wanted to go to so suddenly? What the heck was that about? I guess we should have also mentioned previously this game, as of this recording, is in early access, meaning that there might be a couple of strange things that may or may not happen here. So does that mean the monster might just bug the heck out and even glitch out of this world? Possibly. Mm -hmm. Just don't bet too much on it. For all we know, it might even be disadvantageous for us. Maybe this glitch could give him extra speed or something. Ah, uh, great. Thanks for letting me know. I just had to ask, huh? I don't know. I highly doubt that'll be the case. And even then, this is assuming there even will be something chasing us. That is true, so maybe we'll be all right in the end. Maybe. Where are we even walking to? What are we even doing in the first place? I'm so confused. Let's first let this whole sequence play out and maybe it will answer your question. If not, I'm assuming Donald has some sort of answer. Like I said way before, my knowledge of the back rooms is a little hazy, but I believe I'm able to answer half of your questions. Guys, why are you not coming with me? Are you two seriously just gonna leave me ahead to die? Do those two not know the horrors of these rooms? Probably not actually. Remind me, isn't it usually safer to be in groups instead of being all alone? Yes, it is Obama. I myself am not sure why, but the back rooms itself is an entity and is capable of messing with or pulling you into pocket dimensions or even in different timelines. I would ask, but honestly, I'm not gonna, that's just craziness right there. Just a room. There's a hallway leading out. It's an unusual hallway. It's wallpapered on all sides. Where are we even walking to anyway? What is the point of all of this? There's also like a indoor house like uh, guys. guys. Oh great. Of course it's when they're not responding that I need them. What the heck is actually going on here? Well, there's your answer, I guess. Oh, hey, just like the previous game, uh, we fell here because of sheer bad luck on our side. Wonderful. Back to square one again. Is this guy trying to recover back up or something? I don't know how hard it is to get up being in a hazmat suit, but dang, is he taking long. Yeah, this is kind of taking long. Maybe I should just start wiggling my mouse so that way this guy just throws up as soon as I gain control again. Are you doing it right now? Yes, yes, I am. Ah, there we go. Now for this guy to vomit and we can get moving along. Oh, wow, we have a flashlight now. Nice. An item every single person should have on them at all costs. I guess this means we can finally traverse darker areas now. Eh, uh, I wouldn't say always. There's still that possibility that something's hiding in the shadows and is waiting to jump out at me till I turn on my flashlight. Actually, yeah, that is true. We don't know if there's something waiting for us in the darkness. Guess we should be careful then.
Okay, so last time we just had the pitch quietness accompanying us basically the whole time. Now I have to listen to this guy breathe every single second. At least there's the added realism to it. Yeah, that is true, but wouldn't that eventually get frustrating to hear? Or better yet, what if when the monster shows up, our guy starts breathing so hard that we can't even hear it coming? I'm gonna be honest with you, that sounds so unbelievably ridiculous. I'm actually now expecting it to happen. I don't know if I should feel insulted or reassured. How about both? Sure, I guess. Gosh, man, this is seriously bringing back a lot of bad memories from being trapped in the other back rooms. Constantly choosing some random direction, only to be led to even more rooms to walk through. This seriously is a nightmare in real life. Lonely, no food, no water, no signs of life anywhere, and then the sudden appearance of something scary. You think this is starting to take a toll on Joe's mental? Yes, and now I'm starting to feel bad cause of it. Like these rooms really just go on and on forever and ever. No sight of story, no light at the end, just a bunch of false sense of securities. Help me God. Okay, well that's new. You can actually flip light switches now, nice. But I may as well not, because no matter how many I flip, it doesn't light up my path any closer to what is at the end of the road. All it is is just things that try to please me at the moment, but not for long. Okay, Joe's not okay. Donald, this might be a problem. Nah, it's fine, Barack. It's only a problem when Joe starts sleeping or fainting, but right now we're fine. Donald, not gonna lie, that's a bit insane, even coming from you, my boy. Joe's literally being poetic about his demise in the back rooms and you're saying this is fine? Yeah, I will admit him being poetic and stuff is definitely odd, but this isn't something like him falling off his chair or sleeping to a jump scare. Joe's fine. Oh my gosh, I can open this door, guys? We can open doors now? Oh goodness, that means even more rooms we have to go through. This is just gonna be an endless nightmare. Oh great, this is gonna be something, isn't it? Yeah, now that we can open doors, this means there will be way too many places to travel through. I'm still waiting for that something to jump out at me. My skin's feeling it. It feels like it is just right around the corner. I hate it. Also, just in case, is my flashlight limited on its battery life? In that one game with the scary no face guy, the flashlight would run out of juice in just a few short minutes. What about mine? That is a good question worth bringing up. Unfortunately, neither of us know. I kind of am assuming it doesn't have a limited battery life, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. That's also something I didn't think about. There's a part of me that would assume so, but at the same time, you're not playing as some random stranger. You're playing as an individual who was hired for this specific job. What is that noise? And why is it coming from that small hole in the wall? And why is it so unbelievably dark in it? Why not go check it out, Joe? Nothing's totally gonna attack you for it or anything. Oh, of course you have to make it sound like as if something will. Now I'm worried I might get jumped. Can something actually jump out of there? If so, what? I don't remember any small entities that can do so, unless I'm just that uneducated. I don't know. I'm just making the bet that something can. It is the back rooms, it holds things that shock even me. Someone you'd expect to know a whole lot about this. Well, whatever the case is, it's behind us for now. So I'm gonna stop caring about it for now. I guess for now, it's no longer a threat to us for now. I guess for now, we should keep pressing on for now. Are you two insulting me or something? No, totally not or anything. Say whatever you want, Trump. I'm not believing you this time. Oh, okay. Didn't know it was like that. The rooms get stranger and stranger the more we walk down them. I'm trying to think of a time in my life, but it's really hard to think when nothing looks like anything I've seen. Honestly, same. This hallway, for example, reminds me of nothing in particular, which is weird, because I feel the walls look like something I'd see in some sort of candy tour. Actually, yeah, looking at it harder, the pink area in the distance there does paint the walls like something we would see in some sort of tour about a particular candy. Actually, this is starting to remind me of that one candy place in New York. I unfortunately can't remember the name, but if I remember, I think it was about their ice cream and how good it was. 
Then at the near end of it, there's this little mini pool area with these kinds of dark pink walls. Only thing was that it had no pool. Ah, heck, now I'm trying to remember what the place was, but forgot as well. I think my children went there at some point. They said it was pretty good. Wait a second, Biden. You went to an ice cream place and actually don't remember the name of said ice cream place? How? I thought you'd remember a lot of ice cream places. No, I don't actually. The only thing I care about is if they sell ice cream. I've been able to get away with not remembering the names of the place because most good ones just show you that they sell ice cream. I can more times than not peep through their windows to see if they do or see if their open stands sell chocolate chocolate chip. All of their whack names is just too unnecessary for my memory bank. Odd, but I guess that makes sense actually. The more I think about it, there aren't that many ice cream place names I can think of at the top of my head. Wow, the more you learn, it's strange, but somehow I understand where Joe's coming from. Wow, nice trip upstairs to literally the same area. Hang on, how come I can't crawl under here? How do I go lower? I forgot. Did you press some other button or something to make yourself lower to the ground? Are you sure you even can go any lower than that? Well, judging from how low that part of the area was, part of me would automatically assume that it is possible to go under, but I wouldn't know how since I'm not the one playing here. Donald, are you okay, bro? Your voice went much lower out of nowhere. That was actually freaky. Oh, whoops, uh, my bad. I don't know why, but rarely my voice just kind of acts up, I guess. Uh, okay. Very odd for someone like you, but sure thing. Barry, you're not one to talk, mister. Someone like you should not have a high-pitched voice from left field when never sounding like that till that one time. And I know that you know exactly what I'm talking about. Shh, shut up, Donald. Please don't bring it up. What if this is someone's first time watching? I don't want them to know about that. But you also completely understand that it is on the internet now and people are going to find out about your voice, right? You never know. Maybe these people aren't that much of explorers themselves, you know? Well, then I guess for now only time will tell if they ever find out. I really hope they don't, bro. Gosh, man, seriously. Why is there so much area and it all happens to be so dark, bro? It's no wonder we have a flashlight. So many of these areas are shrouded in shadows. Wait, is this place a supermarket? Never heard of a market called Kronzal before. Maybe not, but it is starting to bring back some memories. Back when I was just a pre-adult, I remember back in the days thinking I was a brave man for stepping into the supermarket all on my own. At first, it was a bunch of small stuff like snacks, drinks, and whatnot. But now here I am buying groceries for my kids, especially Hunter, who seems to chew through so much of our food, it's a little worrisome. Does your son end up using the toilet afterwards? How'd you know I was gonna say that? Ah, uh, it was just a guess. We seem to be picking up on the fact your children use the bathroom a lot. For what reason? That I still don't know, nor want to know anyway. Yeah, Joe. I don't know about you, but you make it no secret. Your kids use the restrooms for purposes we don't understand. Like, are your kids all right, Joe? I'm starting to get concerned myself. Okay, I'm sorry, Trump, but did something happen to your voice like midway through? Am I crazy or something? Don't mind it. Again, it's my voice acting up. Don't know why, so just don't pay too much attention to it. Okay, hang on. I do agree with Joe here. Your voice hasn't been doing this, not only in the few previous minutes we've been recording, but also every single video we've done together. Are you sure it isn't some sort of special case or something? Well, if it is, I wouldn't know. I've never really looked it up myself, but I assumed it was just a thing with me or something. Obama, do you think you can look it up or something? Yeah, sure, hold up. Just give me a moment and I'll see if I can find something real fast. Okay, seriously, Barry, could that not be any louder than it already is, bro? Shush, Donnie. He's hardcore typing, meaning you're not going to get to him unless he completes whatever he's searching for. Uh, okay, just make it quick, I guess. All righty, let's see what we got here.
Suddenly I miss that keyboard typing. Now it's too quiet again. I don't like it. Why not tell us any stories you have in mind right now? Well, unfortunately, I can't think of anything at the top of my head right now. I can try to think of a story in mind later on. Okay, I think I found something that might explain Donald's weird voice case. Wait, seriously, what is it? Have you two ever heard of spasmodic dysphonia? No, what is it? Now I'm curious. According to this website called penmedicine.org, spasmodic dysphonia, also known as laryngeal dystonia, is a neurologic disorder that can affect the voice and speech. It is a lifelong condition that causes the muscles that generate a person's voice to go into periods of spasm. In some cases, the disorder is temporary or can be improved through treatment. Spasmodic dysphonia most commonly begins when an adult reaches middle age. Women are affected more often than men. Uh, now hearing it, I don't think I have that condition. I don't think my situation is that extreme or anything. How do you know? What if it's just a minor condition of it? Okay, how about this? Barry, does the site link to any causes to whatever the heck the thing is? Uh, sure, let's see. The exact cause of spasmodic dysphonia is unknown. However, most cases result from a trigger in Oh my in the gosh. Wait, is that an elevator? Oh my goodness, it's back. Sweet heavens is back. Oh my goodness, everyone. Okay, okay, settle down, Joe. We're glad you're excited and all, but Obama was explaining the thing. Wait, does this mean our video footage is just gonna cut out like it did last time? If it does, then that- It's no wonder the government was hiding this all along. They thought they could mess with something out of their realm, like usual. Okay, what the heck is this? This is literally just the same area I was in before. Where even am I? I don't know, nor care. Obama, do you want to continue that case about the, uh, I keep forgetting the name of the thing. Spasmodic dysphonia, also sure, I'll start from the beginning. The exact cause of spasmodic dysphonia is unknown. However, most cases result from a trigger in the brain and nervous system that can affect the voice. Sometimes it is caused by psychological stress. For muscle tension dysphonia, there is usually an inciting event that leads it to develop, resulting in a strained vocal quality. These events may include surgery, virus, inflammatory illness, lesions, or neurologic conditions, such as multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's disease. Yeah, Joe, I think I'm fine. I don't recall ever having to go through any of said cases especially since some did sound pretty extreme. Hang on, what does this newspaper say? Okay, I think Joe has straight up moved on from the topic outright. Oh yeah, that spasmodic thing. All right, Donald, if you say so. Donald, Joe can say the thing before you can, bro. That name's just so weird, all right? I'll get it down later when I care. All right, whatever you say, Donnie. Why is there just some washing machine in the middle of the area? Do you remember what I said the previous time we were here? Something about how objects themselves are able to fall down here on their own, correct? Oh yeah, that's right. That explains that coffee table we found earlier as well. Wait, so then what about the sinks we also saw earlier? Or how about the fact some rooms have light switches? What's up with that? That's part of the back rooms. It's the same reason why certain areas are public indoor pool themed or even that illusionary outside area as well. Some things are part of the back rooms. So how can we tell the difference between something that is or isn't? I don't know. My way is just to observe what seems very out of place and what doesn't. However, sometimes the answers aren't always consistent, but it is a good way of guessing. Is this the bathrooms? This would be a really good time to use it, especially since we're gonna be here for a very long time. Well, judging from the lack of literally anything, I don't think this is the bathrooms, unfortunately. Oh, of course. These floor tiles look very familiar, but I can't put a finger on where I usually see them. Okay, hey, I was gonna say something, but Joe, are you thinking of entering the women's restrooms? I'm just curious of what's in there. I always wondered, you know?
What the heck kind of restroom is this? Why are there stall blockers but no toilets? Who did this? This is the back rooms, Joe. Of course, there's going to be no toilets. If there were even any, then there would be much more stuff than toilets. Weren't there sinks we passed by earlier? What's up with that? Actually, yeah, what is up with that? Does the back rooms just hold very specific but little amount of items or something? Yes, the back rooms has some, but very little. That's why, besides the sinks, we don't really see that many things around. And again, some have originated from the real world above it. The back rooms is just weird, as if it wasn't already. Whoa, 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 wait. Did I just circle around or something? Is this about to be just like last time where I went backwards to the start of the area? Oh no, not again. Are we about to repeat history one more time? Maybe so. If we're gonna continue circling around without progressing, we're trapped. Can I get under here? Will that allow me to finally leave this godforsaken place? Oh, that's how you go lower. What did you do, Biden? Apparently, you can hold down the button that allows me to crouch. I don't know why it's tied to my controls like that, but at least I found out now. So now we can explore new areas we haven't seen before. We could, but I much rather prefer getting out of this zone already. Why'd you turn on your flashlight? This area was too dark for me. How? It's literally a small hallway with room lights at the end of it. You never know. What if the back rooms was hiding the shadow monster and it attacks you if there's even a lick of darkness nearby? Well, then at that point, you'd better hope your flashlight has a large battery life or something. I don't like that there are windows and there's literally nothing behind it. Well, we are in a room outside of reality. You can think of this place as something inside a literal void. And just like that, I'm creeped out now. The radio stations are back again. Do you think we'd get copyright claimed again if we let those songs play for too long? I wouldn't know. It's dependent on several factors, like if the song was modified to be considered different or original, or if the song doesn't have a copyright behind it at all. Regardless, it would be cool if they weren't copyrighted, so that way I can just sit down and enjoy them as long as I feel like it. Uh, now they're just chairs here. Man, what would be cool is if we could just sit on these chairs for a bit. I imagine this guy needs some rest after running around for this long. Also, what is that area above? Don't know, and honestly don't care either. Oh, hey, this looks like a cozy little area to be resting in. A nice vase too, actually. All right, where does this little crawl space lead to? Okay, that's it. We need Whoa. to start running. I need to get the heck out of here. Joe, what the heck happened to your mic there, bro? Huh, what? What happened to it? It literally went crunchy mode. Your mic sounded oddly like a compressed audio file. Oh, uh, that's weird. Wow, of course there is a refrigerator without any food in it. Why are the back rooms like this to me? Actually, now that I think about it, Donald, you said the back rooms itself is an entity, right? Would that technically make it in control of what it offers and whatnot? I've never actually thought of it that way, and honestly, maybe. Gosh, how long does this go on for? Clearly too long, apparently. Gosh, dude, this is just constant walls and pillars that go on and on. Is there any elevator nearby or something? Could it be around this corner? Were you looking at that wall pattern, Joe? Yeah. Something about it reminds me of my grandma's house. I love wall patterns like that. It reminds me a lot of old houses built before the 1900s. Okay, that's it. I'm running. This is getting ridiculous. 
What am I even supposed to look for at this point? I don't know. But judging the lack of any elevator, either you're still too far from it or you need to somehow look for another exit of some sort. Well, I'm sick and tired of this guy walking. We're sprinting till I find something. But won't you have limited stamina or something? Well, I guess we're about to find out now. If I lose stamina, then I hate this game. So let's test this guy. Well, I guess that's one way to test one's stamina in a video game. Whoa, a ventilation shaft? Am I able to crawl in it? I guess there's only one way to find out, Joe. Okay, suddenly I'm regretting crawling in here. This reeks a smell for some reason. It almost smells like sweaty Black Friday shoplifters on a December. Why the heck do you even know what a shoplifter on a Black Friday smells like, Joe? I don't know about you, but that's kind of strange, my guy. That one time I've witnessed it in person during my youth changed my life. Could never forget a moment like that, which sucks because that just so happens to be a moment I always want to forget. It was horrible. That is very odd coming from you. What even is it you do and don't forget? Like I said, there are quite a handful of things I can remember which are special events, even for the wrong reasons. Okay, how long is this ventilation? Where am I even going? There was that one stop I couldn't even go to, so where else am I going? Yeah, ventilations in real homes are definitely not that long, but we are in the back rooms and we are crawling, which would of course hinder our speed quite a lot. I wonder if the entire back rooms has ventilations or even AC. Does it get cold or warm in there? Is there a reason they wear hazmat suits? Oh my gosh, an exit, finally. Whoa, wait, are we dropping down there? Is it even safe? 